In an Indian democracy, you don't choose a prime minister. You choose a representative of your constituency who will speak for you. They come together and will choose a leader. Now the narrative has changed. Don't fall trap for this. Please try to understand a parliamentarian, a statesman, one of the best spoken Malayali, who is the pride of this nation. Don't let him down. Don't let Kerala down. I request you to teach these liars a lesson that they can't fool you. They have fooled you for a decade. Don't let them fool you. I'll talk further after the questions because I think the questionnaire will have another narrative altogether. Yeah? Should we start our questions? And the details are here. I am not very good because I walked out of Commerce College in the second year because I thought common sense was better. I think all of you have a copy. This is uh, the naked shadow of the Rajahu which has gone to the public particular departments which I am very sure they will sit on it and they will not bring it into it. But be aware that these are facts and truths. And I hope you spread this word too that you will be undressing a media baron who has used media only to promote hatred, only to be partial, uh, partial and only to elevate the Rajahu. And I'm sure because even whenever I've come to Kerala, I've had very strong questions, very open questions, very transparent questions. I understand you don't take side, but at least document and take my version, our version, and people's voice too. Mr. Prakash, sir, do you think that Maps should not have uh, you know, given a candidate against Azul? I seriously think they should not have given. Because the left's candidate, I know him. He's a wonderful person, a very simple person, not a corrupt person, but don't get into the trap. I request things. I'm not against anybody. I'm against this Rajau. You people should not get into the trap and take a choice for the country. Don't vote for a political party. Vote for a person who has stood by you for 10 years. And I say this because I can ouch for the integrity of Mr. Shashitaru. I have always felt that there is a voice, there is a sane voice, there is a learned voice, there is a deeper voice and he is representing me. He is representing my aspirations. A man who is not broken, who is not withered away with this sort of politics, whether it's internal or external. And I think they have made a mistake. This is not the f way to fight these guys because this is how they will come in. You know, who are these guys? You know, what they do when they want to rob a village, this Rajavu and this Mr. Rajiv Chandra Shekhar and the gang, the thugs, if they have to rob a village, they'll put fire outside. So all of us will be there and they will suddenly rob and go. Don't try to do this. They will make two of you fight. It is like one fellow is in a train and there are five member gang. Four fellow is carrying 100 rupees. One of the thief will put the hand in the pocket. The minute the common man catches, the other four will call the common man thief, thief. The public will think probably this fellow is the thief. They would have escaped. Please try to read in between lines. Don't get into the trap. What we need is not only good people. We need people with experience, with knowledge, who can represent us, who can voice us. I know some people will be angry with me, but then, being what I am, I don't want to let down the people who love me by, you know, by being you know, on the fence and being nice to it. I'm not afraid. I should be known that I'm an outspoken person and I speak out. <laughs>